our office has uh, 10 chairs and it's about 40, between 45, 4,600 square feet uh, in a freestanding building that Mark built actually. And um, we had, I think, 16 employees, 16 mm -hmm. or 17 of us, yep. uh, three and a half hygienists and four dental assistants. Our last full year before affiliation, we collected 2.2 million. 2 .2. And here we are, just a little over 18 months down the road after affiliation, on track for 3.5. So it's been a very positive thing for us. We've really struggled for years with taking our practice from a two-doctor practice to a three-doctor practice. And we get up to a certain level, and then we couldn't go past that. And we just, and then you know, young associates. I'm sure a lot of older doctors can really relate to this. You get that young associate out of school, and they have a different idea about what ought to be happening versus what uh, the reality of it is. And that was one of the things that really uh, began to attract us to Heartland is the opportunity and the, the, the resources and support for moving from point A to point B in our transition. We began the affiliation process. Um, we did our fair due diligence. We got a list of at least 20 doctors and between two of us I said we called all of them. Many of the doctors we knew from previous experiences didn't even know they were with Heartland. And once they told us about their experience, everything was positive. The only problem we had in the affiliation due diligence was the more we looked, everything looked too good to be true. And so that, for some reason that actually heightened our suspicions, but it all turned to be reality. Um, this, these were very genuine comments and we find they were on balance. It wasn't just uh, take the money and run. We still had years of practice ahead of us. So we wanted a good relationship and that's been positive for us. It's, they've grown our people, they've grown our team, they've stretched us as individuals. Um, to be honest, we thought we were successful prior to affiliation and now we realize how much we were leaving on the table. And one of the really exciting things that's happened at Heartland since we've joined is that team members that have aspirations to grow that were limited by their job descriptions or their license or the lack of license have the opportunity to grow. We have a BA trainer, business assistant trainer in our team now. Our office uh, administrator is now a practice administrator. One of our, our lead hygienists is on her way to become a hygiene mentor. And our lead dental assistant is on her way to being a dental assistant mentor. They have the opportunity to expand their horizons and grow beyond anything that any of us was, would ever have been thought, have, would have thought would be possible. And I think that's really significant that it's not just for the doctors, although on the surface it looks that way, but there are benefits for the team members as well. The one thing about Heartland that has really been significant for me, if I had to boil it down to one thing, would be the level of administrative support to have a team of people around me who, uh, and close by and farther away, who are working every day to try to make me more successful. Their whole job success, how they measure their success, is my success, and that's been uh, the most dramatic or maybe significant thing that I've experienced. The most common misunderstanding that people have about Heartland is that there's a loss of control. Uh, this is a doctor-led company, a doctor-led practice, and so it's really all about you, doctor. It's really about you and your taking care of your patients and re really reducing or lowering or eliminating barriers to that. The entire organization, when everything is working right, is about making sure that you have the tools, resources, and capabilities to take the best care of your patients possible, to deliver to them the best dental health. That might be your clinical skills, that might be the equipment, might be financing options, it might be training your staff, but everything is designed around, actually around you. You're the, we believe that we are the, the choke point, the point that everything passes through. If we can be successful, if we can make us more successful, then everybody wins. I think the misconception, like you said, is that loss of control. Heartland is here to help facilitate patient care, not to change it, except to up-level it. And so the doctor still is very much the deciding point. He's the leader in the practice. And so you'll hear that over and over and over in every single continuing education course Heartland makes available is that this is doctor-led, doctors making the decisions. We just want to make sure the doctor has the most up-to-date tools, skills, communication skills, all of that, resources like um, patient financing, 
so that patients can get healthier faster. Finally, we just decided, you know what? Our practice is at a size that there is nobody else at our door wanting to help us grow our practice. No one else wanting to build our practice or put funds in our practice. So we made that decision and decided that um, a lot of the what we thought was peer pressure and you know, what will our peers think, their prejudices are based upon a misconception. And so we had done our due diligence, they had not. They've seen we have not changed, they've seen our practice grow, and now they're wondering, you know, what's What's the deal, you know? And so I would just encourage any doctor, take a look, you won't regret it.